The end of the Paleozoic era, specifically the Permian period, was one of the most dramatic times in Earth's history. The continents had fused by this point, forming the giant supercontinent called Pangaea. By the end of the Permian, the largest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history, known as the Siberian Traps, were occurring. This uh, one million year long uh, period of volcanic eruption produced one to four million cubic kilometers of lava covering about two million square kilometers. And these two factors, uh, the fusion of the continents and the Siberian traps, caused the worst mass extinction in Earth's history as Earth's deserts spread to their largest extent ever. An estimated 90 to 95 percent of life died out. Trilobites, such as those depicted here, uh, were not as common at the end of the Paleozoic as they previously had been, but they were completely wiped out in the end Permian extinction and completely disappeared from Earth. Not only trilobites disappeared, but also blastoids, tabulate corals, rugose corals, and many groups of mollusks. The dominant groups of the seafloor in the Paleozoic era, such as crinoids, bryozoans, and brachiopods, became largely extinct and were replaced by the groups which would dominate from this point onwards. Many fish groups from the late Paleozoic would become extinct at the end of that era. Many of the early sharks, which still possessed notochords uh, and are not alive today, in addition to many of the early bony fish, uh, the primitive actinopterygians and many of the lobe fin fish closely related to amphibians, became extinct at the end of the Paleozoic era. The forests of the late Paleozoic were dominated by lycopod trees, which had composed the first forests, and tree ferns. Although the first gymnosperms had evolved by the end of the Paleozoic, pine trees and their relatives were not yet present, and not a single flowering plant is known from the Paleozoic era.